Black to play and win. Daniel Dada against Shakriya Mamadyarov played in the European Club Cup in October 2023. Mamadyarov, a legendary attacking player. He's already sacked peace to get his queen in the danger zone around the king. He's got the knight in support, but at the moment that knight on f3 covers h2, so there's no checkmate. So how do you upset White's defensive position? Rook e3. Beautiful move. That has echoes of an old game by Alexander Alikin. Um, I think from the 1920s, if I'm not mistaken. Against Retty, was it? I'm sure someone will refresh my memory. Anyway, Rook e3 was the move here. Lovely move. If that's taken... Then knight e3 threatens the queen, but also threatens queen g2 mate. So what's the big idea behind this one? Of course, black wants to take and then deliver mate on h2. So that means this rook has to move. Well, in the game, Dada played rook fe1. Now, what's the follow-up here? This is... It's a lovely idea. It's a really lovely idea and, and very cool, very calm. So can you spot how Mamadyarov wins from here? He played Rook AE8. Lovely, calm follow-up. If you take on F3 immediately, then actually the king escapes. There's no mate here. It's covered by the queen. When I check, the king run, runs away. But first of all, rook ae8. And now there is a clear threat to take on f3. So for example, if a4, that's a random move, takes here. And queen h1 mate because the rook on e8 covers e2. So in the game, well, in fact, there's simply no defense to rook f3. Uh, rook f3 in the game, queen d3 played. Shaq took the queen. Of course, this is winning in, in lots of different ways. You've got a queen against rook and knight. Uh, but Shaq found rook e3. There's a, an elegant finish. So if that's taken, then you take here. And if that's taken, then the queen breaks through and causes absolute devastation. <laughs> queen just picks everything off there. Beautiful finish. So let's go back to this move, rook e3. So, as I mentioned, rook e1 played in the game. What about rook fd1? Now, that's a little bit different. In this case, if rook e8, actually rook d4 and white just about survives by taking on g4. Instead, how does black win here? You take the knight, you give a check. Now, it's you don't want to check there, the king will run away, but instead you play knight e3. That's a very typical device. Forking king and queen, of course, if that's taken, the queen sweeps along the second rank to take the queen. So another really elegant finish there, but... Those are the key moves, rook e3 and rook a e8. If you want to see the full game, then do click through the link to chesspuzzle.net.